Welcome back guys to my channel. For this video, I will discuss part 1 of module 1 of grade 12 business mathematics, introduction to fractions. Kung bago ka lang sa aking channel, mag-subscribe ka na para tuloy-tuloy ang iyong pag-aaral. Fraction is a numerical quantity that is not a whole number, a small or tiny part, amount or proportion of something. Like what you see on the figure, the colored part of the geometric figures representing fractions. Examples of fractions are 3 fifths, 3 is the numerator, the top part of the fraction, while 5 is the denominator, the bottom part of the fraction. Others are 12 sevenths, 21 and 4 ninths, 25 over 74, 5 which is equivalent to 5 over 1. Next, proper fraction is a fraction that is less than 1 with the numerator less than the denominator. Example, 2 thirds. 2 is the numerator, 3 is the denominator, 2 the numerator is less than its denominator 3. Other examples are 32 over 50, 5 over 8, 15 over 22, and 12 over 19. Improper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. First example is 3 over 2. 3 is the numerator, 2 is the denominator, 3 the numerator is greater than its denominator 2. Other examples of improper fractions are 8 fifths, 12 sevenths, 14 over 14, 7 thirds, and others. Other forms of fractions are decimal, percent, or percentage. To change fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. Example, number 1 is 5 eighths. Just divide 5 by its denominator, 8. Add initially two zeros. 50 divided by 8 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. Proceed to subtraction. 50 minus 48 is 2. Bring down another 0. 20 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Minus 20 minus 16 is 4. Add another one zero, So we have 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 equals 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. Therefore, 5 eighths equals 0 0.625 in decimal. Another example for instance is 7 over 11. Again, just divide 7 by its denominator 11. Initially, add two zeros. 70 divided by 11 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6, 66. Proceed to multiplication. 70 minus 66 is 4. Bring down another 0. 40 divided by 11 is 3. 3 times 11 is 33. Proceed to multiplication again. As, sorry, proceed to subtraction. So we have 40 minus 33 is 7. Add another 0. So we have 70. 70 divided by is 6. 6 times 11 is 66 minus, so we have repeating decimal of 63. Therefore, we can say that 7, 11, 7 over 11 equals 0 0.64 hundreds rounded off. To change from a decimal to a fraction, the decimal point is removed and the whole number is written over the power of 10. To change one decimal point, the denominator is 10. To change two decimal point, the denominator is 100. 
To change 3 decimal point, the denominator is 1,000. Or very easy, how many decimals is also the same number of zeros on the denominator. Example number 1, 0 0.28 change to fraction. So we have a 0 0.28 since we have two decimal places so we have 28 over 100. Then reduce 28 over 100 to uh, lowest term so we will divide this by 4 over 4, 28 divided by 4 is 7, 100 divided by 4 is 25. Therefore, 0 0.28 hundreds is equal to 7 over 25 in fraction. Another example is a 0 0.138. So, 0 0.138 thousands to fraction. The same, remove the decimal point. So, we have 138. Then, 1, 2, 3 decimal. 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1,000. Then, reduce the lowest term. 138 initially divided by 2. 138 divided by 2 is equal to 69. 1,000 divided by 2 is equal to 500. So therefore, 0 0.138 thousands equals 69 over 500 in fraction. Number 3, for example, we have 8 and 4 tenths. Change to fraction. So we have 8, then 4 over 1 decimal is 10. Divided by 2 over 2, so we have 8 and 4 tenths equals 8 and 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 8 and 4 tenths is equal to 8 and 2 fifths. To change from a fraction to a percentage, multiply the fraction by 100%. Example number one, we have five twelves change to percent. First to do is make five twelves decimal. So we have five divided by twelve. Add to zeros initially. Fifty divided by twelve is four. Four times twelve is forty-eight minus 50 minus 48 is 2, bring down 0. 20 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12, proceed to subtraction. 20 minus 12 is 8, add another one zero. So you have 80. 80 divided by 12 is equal to 6. 6 times 12 is 72. Minus, we have another 8, add another zero. So we have repeating decimal of... Six. Therefore, we have 5 twelves equals 0 0.412 rounded off is equal to 0 0.412 times 100% is equal to simply move two places to the right. So we have 41.2 then a fixed percent sign. Therefore, 5 twelves change to percent is 41.2 percent. Another example is 8 over 15 change to percent. Again, make over 15, 8 over 15 decimal. So we have 8 divided by 15. Add to zeros. 80 divided by 15 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 2, 75 minus 80 minus 75 is 5. Bring down 0. 50 divided by 15 is 3. 3 times 15 is 45 minus. So we have 5. Add 1, 0. 50. So we have 
are repeating decimal of 3. So therefore, we can say that 8 over 15 is equal to 0 0.533 in decimal. To change decimal to percent, we have 0 0.533 times 100 or simply move the decimal places 2 to the right. So we have 1, 2, we have 53.3 and a fixed percent sign. We can say that 8 over 15 is equal to 53.3. Muli, kung nagustuhan mo at nakatulong sa iyo ang video na ito, please like. At pakishare mo na rin para makatulong din tayo sa iba.